Hi gang, it's time for a mukbang. Yeah, it's time. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, I have curried lentils. This was supper last night. And I have jasmine rice. And I have fish sticks that I seasoned up to be like fish pakora. And this stuff here is some kind of like Indian chutney type of stuff that came with um with the Indian dinner that my young son ordered. And he don't like it because it's like really spicy. It's it's just like um pico de gallo, but super ass spicy. So ooh. Mm. It's good. It it's um they call it pickle something. I don't know. I need to buy some in a jar so I can have some. Because I like it. I really do. So, yeah. These are just regular old fish sticks. But they have grand masala on them. Garlic. And, um, onion. And, yeah. So, it, they taste like fish pakora. But that's okay. So it's Sunday here, and um, everybody's just kind of like kicked back today. Oh, and these are um, lentil beans that were cooked with a zillion different Indian spices that I have. Garlic, salt and pepper, um, gram masala, onion, garlic, of course, and uh, coriander, and some um, Indian spice is for lentils that you can buy at the Indian store these little boxes of stuff you, you, when I was first learning how to cook Indian food I put the whole damn box on it yeah because I didn't know how to to do it I didn't I thought well you know this is a package <clears throat> we just put it on but you don't do that you only put like a teaspoon or so on it anyway that so that's what this is and over jasmine rice, of course. Lots of carbs. Ah, jasmine rice is good, though. I finally learned how to cook jasmine rice. You don't cook it like you do Mexican rice. Because when I cook regular Mexican, I call it Mexican rice, just a regular long grain white rice. I take and put some oil in the bottom of a pan and kind of like saute the rice. You know, it has like a little little gold on it. Not much. Got to be very careful. Can't burn it. But you guys probably all already know how to um, do this. But some of you might not. Anyway, so you make it to it's a little bit gold. Then you add enough water in it. You know, like, like for one cup of rice, you add a cup and a half of water. Or sometimes two cups. It just depends on how you want it. Put the lid on it. Let it cook. So you see like little tunnels in the rice that have like little potholes in the top of the rice. And you turn it off and put the cover back on, put the cover on it and forget about it for a little while. So that's how I cook Mexican rice. But how you cook jasmine rice is a whole different story. <coughs> that's like a for a cup of rice, <coughs> it's a half a cup, it's a, for one cup of rice, it's one cup of water and a half a cup of water. And you put some oil in the water and salt. Not the rice yet. And then you, you take and, um, you get the water boiling really rapid. Diet Mountain Dew. Get the water boiling really rapid, then you put the rice in, stir it up with the um, oil, salt, you know, and you put the lid on it, and you time it for about, I think it was 18 minutes or something like that. I'm going to cough again. <clears throat> Some of that chutney is like making me, my throat itch, but anyway, and then you uh, turn the heat off and leave it covered, leave it sit. And you got the most beautiful, fluffiest, white jasmine rice there is. I don't use um, brown rice. 
I just don't like it. I don't know. I don't like brown rice. I like the plain white long grain rice and I like the jasmine rice. No brown rice for me. I don't know. It's got like a different flavor or something brown rice. I just don't care for it. Different texture. It's probably better for you though. So I'm trying to Right now in the kitchen I have a hamburger in the skillet and I'm trying to get that cooked all up so it's like totally done. I'm going to throw it in a crock pot with some prego sauce and um, some bell peppers and onions. That's the way I make my sloppy joes. They're more like a sloppy meatball sandwich because they taste just like a meatball sandwich. Anyway, that's what we're going to have tonight for supper while we watch 90 Day Fiance. I don't know what's going to happen tonight on there. I've been seeing all across the thing Big Ed or No Neck. The rose ran off. So we'll see what happens. From what I heard, Big Ed don't want no kids and she wants kids. So this might definitely be a deal breaker. Well, look at him. That'd be a deal breaker anyway. Plus, there's all kinds of stuff coming out that he's a pedo. I don't know. I have no idea. You know, when I first start watching, I felt sorry for him I thought this ugly ass guy so who cares if she just wants a green card found somebody to take a little interest give him a little attention and just to come to America or whatever you know it's better to love and lost at love than not to loved at all so you know why not right uh oh I hit the remote on the TV. You keep changing the First you put five on. And then I put, I put it back. And then you put this on. All day, every day. SpongeBob. Yeah, do you know who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Do you? And yellow and porous is he, and drops on the deck and flops like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. So, I don't know where I was going with this conversation. But anyway, Ed's lonely, I guess. He's going to be lonely. So, after I get done eating this, doing my mukbang. Need to check on my hamburger meat. Throw it in a crock pot. And everybody, let's go. Let's find my most. I need to go to Winco. I need to go a few places, but my big son's driving. And since he's a local P&D here in our area, means pickup and delivery. He don't like driving on the weekend. So I get him to go to the store is a big pain in the ass. And AJ, she's like, she, she, you have to bribe her. And um, yesterday, oh my God, I don't know. She needs to start a mukbang channel. She really does. Yesterday, I had to go someplace but I didn't make it there I forget where it was probably Winco and she was hounding me down calling me every two minutes I need a pack of cigarettes I need outside food and baby's mom worked yesterday and big son he was home but he don't like poopy diapers so, he's definitely afraid to leave the kids with me, with him. I mean, with him. He is definitely afraid for me to leave the kids with him. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Because if somebody takes crap, he don't want to change it. He says, I don't do poopy diapers. I'm like, okay, whatever. So yesterday I had to ask him. He's a, he's a prison. He's a warden for my prison. Hey, warden, can you parole me for like a half hour so I can go get cigarettes and outside food with AJ? I won't do none of my shit. I'll just do her shit. Oh, my God. You guys passed out here in this story. I gotta wipe the camera off. There. So I asked him if I could be paroled for half an hour. And he got all mad, mad at me. He goes, oh my god, I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do outside. And he said, since smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Get your shit done so I can go. So anyway, so anyway. And he finally said, just go do your shit. That's what he told me. But anyway, because I only asked him for a half hour, I only took a half hour. So anyway, we went down oh past the cigarette store. We have a store here in Reno, Nevada. It's a, well, in Sun Valley, rather. And it has a picture of Cheech and Chong. It's a smoke shop. I can buy cigarettes and, I don't know, maybe paraphernalia. I don't know. They don't sell weed. It's not a dispensary. I don't think they even have CDC, CB, whatever, oil. I don't think they have that, but they just have things to smoke, cigarettes, papers, pipes, tobacco. Not wacky tobacco, just tobacco. So we went sailing past there. I said, hey, there's a Cheech and Chong store. There it is. She keeps going by it. And said, you needed a pack of cigarettes. Where the fuck are we going? So, she goes, I need jalapeno poppers. My damn glasses. My hair is in my eyes. So, anyway. She needs jalapeno poppers. So we go down to the Burger King. She goes through, gets her a large um, root beer, gets her some jalapeno poppers, got um, something else that was deep fried, or maybe she got two orders of that, and got um, one of those Hershey little Hershey slices of pies and got her an apple, sl apple slice of pie. I'm like, okay, whatever. And I said, <clears throat> you're going to get cigarettes on the way back. She's, she didn't say nothing. And I told her, I said, well, maybe I should stop at McDonald's and get Duty Buggy Happy Meal. Because then she says, well, she wanted a salad. Oh, I don't know what started all this. She said she wanted a salad from Hobie's. That's a casino that does curbside. And... They don't have salads now because it's coronavirus. You can't buy a salad now, so you go to a store and buy all the crap to make it yourself. Anyway. That's why we went by Burger King. Because she couldn't get her salad at Hobby's. And then we come up to McDonald's because I suggested, well, hey, you know, they got the little dollar side salads. Get a couple of them and order a couple of chicken sandwiches. And tell them don't put the mayo on it. Then you have a chicken patty and salad. So she she was okay with that. And we get to McDonald's and she asked if they had salads and they said no. They're not serving salads because of the coronavirus. I guess they don't want people like touching the food and then it's cold and it goes in the fridge and saves the germs. I don't know. But they have lettuce on your Big Mac. So, your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, so she ordered four McDoubles and two uh, sausage breakfast things. They're only like two for three dollars, whatever those were. I know they're a muffin, but they don't have the egg on it. Sausage, mc sausage muffins without the egg. Baby's mama's here. She's helping me with my commentary. Anyway, um... So I don't know how many, how many of these sandwiches she was going to eat. She probably give Tranny two, 
and she'll eat the other four. That's what, what I was thinking. I don't know. But anyhow, that's like $10. My um, thing for Duty Bug, I bought Duty Bug a Happy Meal. And I bought two McDoubles, one for me and one for Big Son because he was home. And mine came to nine something, so ten dollars too. So we come home. Big son eats his McDouble. Diddy bug eats hers. And then I don't know about two, three, three o'clock. Jesse Beans was sleeping. Opportunity for me to take a shower. So, I sneak into my room. Well, usually, I'll show you, J-Bug usually sleeps on the couch by me. Well, right now I have dogs. But I usually sit on the couch, and J-Bug sleeps beside me, but he was sleeping on the couch. I didn't want to move him, because he was, like, out cold. He was really sleeping. And my shower only takes, like, five, six minutes. I can get in there and wash myself two or three times, rinse myself off, and I'm out. I don't twirl around and, you know, do the ballerina thing in the shower. I get scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, rinse, out. No problem. So, get my shower all done. And I have the bathroom door open and my bedroom door open. That's my bedroom door right there by the TV. So, I had my door open so I could listen for him. Because the plan was, if I hear him crying, I'm going to turn the water off, jump out of the shower, wrap my towel around me and come out here and grab him didn't hear him crying so I was good so I walked back into my bedroom because my bathroom was off my bedroom sat down on my bed start putting my looking for my clothes because I had clothes I don't know if anybody does this or not but I had clean underwear another pair of shorts and another shirt on my bed and for whatever reason the dog's jumping off and up and down off of my bed I knocked my clothes off so I'm going like where the fuck are my clothes? Couldn't find my clothes. And then the dogs start barking. I'm like, oh my god. One of my son's friends are here. And the doors aren't locked. The outside doors aren't locked. Big son was outside. The dogs don't bark for him. And he won't come into the living room. He beelines through the kitchen back to the hallway to go to the bathroom when he comes in. So he ain't looking for me. And I figured, you know, I'll be safe. Nobody's going to see me. In a couple minutes, I got a towel wrapped around me. Anyway, so the dog start barking, and I'm like, "What?" And I looked out the windows to see a little gray car pull up. I'm like, "I didn't recognize a little gray car." And then the damn doorbell rings, and the pit bulls in the back, which you probably hear now, they're barking. I start barking and my windows open I don't have my window shade down but my windows open and I have these like lavender curtains it was a breezy day yesterday the curtains are blowing in the wind they weren't blowing until this car pulled in not blowing opening them opening the curtains back and forth like peekaboo you see the naked lady so anyway and then Jesse starts scream crying and he must have fell off the couch or something. I'm not laughing because he fell off the couch. I'm laughing because him and Duty Bug were on their hands and knees making a beeline to my bedroom where I was sitting on my bed naked as a damn jaybird because I was trying to put on my shorts and my underwear.